The unmanned aircraft receives its mission and prepares for takeoff. Time is ticking, and they need to find the ship quickly. As the aircraft departs, video streams back to headquarters in real time. A ship identification model detects the dimensions, speed, and weapon system of the destroyer headed north. An analyst back in the operations center verifies the detection, which confirms the Lu Yang is on the most dangerous path and is only a few hours away from the potential blockade. The commander is briefed on the fast developing situation and examines several human and machine generated courses of action that have been jointly tested and developed in past exercises and simulations. The first option involves sending reinforcements to a nearby base, which may take too long. The second option is to send a manned aircraft over the fishing vessels, which could introduce unnecessary risk. The third option is a freedom of navigation operation, which means positioning an American or allied ship closer to the developing situation. This option appears to have the highest probability of success with the lowest risk. Joint forces decide to task an American ship. Once the choice is selected, a task order is submitted and the American ship quickly alters course. The team watches closely as the operation progresses. And as the American ship approaches, the fishing vessel blockade begins to disband and the Lu Yang continues north without incident. While this example was notional, events like these happen more often than you realize, and one wrong move could put millions at risk. In these situations, Palantir Gotham provides those who protect our values with the technology to make decisions at speed and in the process makes the world a safer place.